Hey guys, Brian here from Five to Go. Today we are talking about steering stabilizers. Uh, ever since we brought this big beautiful beast home, you guys have been leaving comments all about things that you think we should do to our rig, especially to make it safer while driving down the road. So while we appreciate all of the comments, the first thing that we are going to address is a steering stabilizer. And there are two major ones out there on the market. Um, actually, I think there's the, the one strut style is made by a number of companies. Uh, I believe the most prominent one is the Safety Plus. I'll put a picture of that up right here. And uh, the other style is from a company down in New Mexico that's been around for about 40 years. And uh, it is called the Steer Safe System. Let's take a look at this thing and uh, we'll kind of talk about how it works real quick. And then I'm gonna crawl under there and install it. So this is everything that came in the box, uh, except for obviously my tools over here to install it. So basically what's gonna happen is this panel is going to get installed. You see the wheel right there? This panel is gonna get installed behind the wheel using uh, two of these U-bolts. We'll just kind of do a, a fake installation here real quick. So these U-bolts are gonna go on here like that and it's gonna clamp onto the knuckle on the back of that wheel. And then when that is on there, these little holes on these tabs are going to attach to the springs. And then this whole piece here, this all gets clamped to the rig and this doesn't move. This turns with the wheel. And you can see that as I turn this, there is a fulcrum bar that turns in here and it has some, some nylon in here so it's nice and smooth. And uh, as the wheels turn, it actually is pulling it back in the other direction. So this helps your wheels track straight especially when you're uh, getting in windy conditions or getting passed by big trucks, like this will help everything stay straight. And this is obviously a lot more involved than a single strut on one bar. So we've heard from many people that this is the bigger, beefier way to go. So we're gonna give it a shot. So it comes with all of this stuff, it comes with all the nuts, all the pieces. I didn't have to bring anything to the party but my tools. It even came with instructions. Uh, though you can print them out from the website, which is nice. So I've got everything ready to go. So let's go under there and see how it gets installed. Alrighty, so under here, uh, this is where the piece on the back side of the wheel is going to get attached to. Uh, if you want some orientation, uh, here's the front edge of this front wheel. And then that's the disc brakes and then landing gear. Stairs are back down that way. So I'm kind of right behind the front wheel on the passenger side. Um, so basically these U-bolts are going to go there and there. And then this piece here is going to get bolted on like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hands free here and do that real quick. And then we'll be right back to take a look at it. Okay, so this is one part installed, and uh, I've got these springs hanging down for when I bring the next piece down. Uh, but you can see it's just kind of clamped on here real tight with these two U-bolts, and then a couple nylon nuts, and then we got this little, uh, little capture nut here, just putting some extra pressure on it. So I'm going to go grab the other pieces, because the springs swing up, and then it'll clamp onto this bar here. So let's go grab those other pieces and see what it looks like. So this is the second part. Um, I had to go ahead and uh, swing it up. Actually, I got cousin Adam over there helping out. So I had to go ahead and swing it up and clamp it on. Uh, it definitely took four hands. So if you try this by yourself, good luck. Um, so basically this big piece here, it's all loose right now. Uh, this piece here, I attach the springs to the other end of this fulcrum bar on both sides. And then we swung it up and we've got it on these clamps here and here. These are just loose right now, so we can swing it around and adjust it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it so the springs are nice and uh, taut. And then we're going to clamp these down. And we're going to run these set screws up. And then we're going to turn these nuts until these eye bolts come all the way back to the fulcrum bar. Uh, let me show you that's going to be quite a ways it could be like an inch and a half or so so those springs are going to get pulled real tight so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we will take a look at the uh finished assembly here and, and then we'll have to do the other side all right it is installed uh so we clamped these down super super tight ran these set screws up 
And then we ran these eye bolts all the way down until they seated on the uh, front edge of the fulcrum here. So these are super tight and you can actually see daylight through these springs now. So they are definitely under tension. So these springs will pull against each other and as this fulcrum bar rotates. And uh, it should just put a bunch of extra tension on this wheel and uh, help it just kind of track straight against wind and road imperfections and stuff like that. Adam and I are gonna shimmy over to the other side, over there, and we're gonna install the other one. And then uh, we'll take this out for a test drive, probably not tonight, uh, but we will try to in the next couple of days and we'll report back. So uh, let's, uh, let's crawl over there. Alrighty guys, we are done. Adam and I got this one attached to the knuckle. We got the springs put on, we swung this guy up, clamped it on, cranked the springs down. Uh, so now um, everything is rock solid. This is a very well-made kit. Uh, it's kind of a dirty job under here, <laughs> uh, but we need to get this thing out on a test drive. I don't know how thick it's going to be this evening. There's another storm rolling in. I think we're finishing up right before the storm hits, uh, which is good. Um, so we will trying to do a test drive the next couple days and uh, we'll report back. So hopefully it won't be too long for you. Might be a couple days for us, but uh, we'll see how this thing drives with this thing installed. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and we have the steer safe all installed and ready to test out. We are heading down the road to the Pueblo KOA for a couple nights just to uh, get full hookups and get a full, full test run in this thing. Uh, the last trip we took was just boondocking for one night, so we weren't able to like run both AC units and have hookups and you know run the water, run the shower, do all that stuff, empty out the tanks and all that. So. We're going to run down the road for two days, get all that stuff done, get a really good kind of shakedown trip done. And also, uh, we grab a phone here so we can see how the steer safe works. I actually uh, attached my other GoPro down under the rig. So it is uh, going to watch the steer safe go back and forth and uh, we'll see what that looks like. It should be pretty cool. So we're going to get finished packing up here. Ready? Hey, Aaron's in this episode. What? <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's get everything ready. And then we'll get on the road and see what the steer safe does. Let's do it. So far, I have just gone through the neighborhood and uh, coming down the hill out of the neighborhood. Um, gotta sit here for a second so I can talk. Uh, the steering definitely feels a little bit less sloppy, um, probably because there's you know four big springs down there fighting against me. So let's go ahead and uh, head out to the highway here, and then we'll see how it goes. It's a very very windy day today. Hopefully, I've got some footage to show you of the little springs working down there. And uh, then I'll give an after action report uh, once we're down to the KOA in about 20 minutes.
All right, so final verdict on the steer safe system. Just as a little background, when I was driving this back from Florida, so we, we flew, I flew to Florida and bought this down in Ocala from Matt at General and then drove this almost 2,000 miles back here to Colorado. That entire drive home, it was just me and it was pretty, it was a pretty tame drive overall. Uh, except when big trucks would pass, it was there was definitely like a sucking motion to the side. Uh, if you've ever driven an RV, you know what that feels like. And also, when I got past Amarillo and got up to New Mexico and then on to 25, um, it was like this. I don't know if you can see these trees moving around, but it is incredibly windy outside right now. So I kind of have driven this enough, I would say, to know how it behaves just stock. With the steer safe on there, uh, I immediately noticed a difference, even just getting out of the driveway. Like it was, it's definitely harder to turn the wheel. Um, and that makes sense because there's four huge springs that are kind of fighting against you. Then once I was on the road, uh, I noticed a definite improvement in tracking. Uh, it's not fighting sway. It's not fighting, you know, like a side gust of wind. It's the whole body is still kind of rolling and stuff. And that's what people do like the beefier sway bars and stuff for. Uh, but as far as driving down the road, uh, hitting bumps and potholes and stuff, and you know, the wheel going like this and all that completely gone. I was able to drive. Uh, we only were on the highway for about 25 miles here, but I noticed an absolute difference before I'd be going down the road. Any little bump, you know, I felt like I was driving in a movie, you know how people will be like driving along and they're going like this, moving the wheel the entire time. That's seriously what it was like driving back from Florida. This little drive here, obviously not a, an in-depth, you know, long-term test, but I feel like it was long enough and there was enough wind, enough trucks were passing me, and this is a terrible stretch of highway because the basically half of the drive the right lane is all chewed up, so I'm just hitting bumps and bumps and bumps and bumps, and the wheel is just dead straight. Like, it's definitely, you know, there's I'm definitely hitting bumps, there's definitely rattles and all that stuff, but the wheel is not going like this. I'm not fighting it, it's not jerking. I, it, totally easy. It basically went from two hands clutched on to, you know, one good solid hand and then the other one, you know, nearby if it's needed but I didn't feel, um, when I was driving this home without the steer safe installed, I felt like I really had to, <laughs> I really had to prepare when I wanted to like take a drink or uh, like check the map or something, you know, just anything that involved my right hand, because I, I predominantly drive with my left. Um, anything that involved my right hand, I really had to kind of plan for it. Uh, but with this, the whole drive down, I was totally comfortable with one hand here and you know, the other hand available if needed but I didn't feel like I was really just like hanging on for your life and fighting it the whole way. So I'm really looking forward to testing this out even more, but first blush, totally, totally worth the money. I absolutely recommend this thing. So I'm gonna put links down below. If you wanna get one of these, check it out. Uh, go to his website, it's a very basic website, but it does what you need it to do. And. Uh, absolutely worth the money. I'll put the price here because I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. And uh, so URL, price, everything down in the description down below. I like it a lot. I'm uh, a little less stressed about driving this thing now. And uh, that's a good thing because we launch in three weeks from today. So on June 27th, we are leaving Colorado and we're heading east. So make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along with us on that journey. And if you want to become a Roadrunner, they uh, just for a couple bucks a month, you get access to all sorts of behind the scenes videos. We're gonna be doing two live streams a month with our Roadrunners. And then actually so on June 14th, we are giving away a 100 watt solar panel kit to one of our Roadrunners. And we're gonna do that in a live stream. We're gonna pick a name randomly and we're gonna mail them a 100 watt solar panel kit. So if you want a chance to win that, check out the link down below. Join us on Patreon at uh, 5 to go slash Roadrunners, and uh, we will see you there, and we'll also see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.